All right, Brent Fikowski here, the professor. What up, Professor Project? Big week of training here and uh, excited to uh, to give it to you. Um, obviously, I try and put these videos out uh, usually like Sunday, Monday, just kind of to start the week. A little late this week, uh, back here in Kelowna after a big trip to Miami. Wadapalooza competed as an individual in the team. Thanks for everyone for following along and watching. For those of you that did, it's a lot of fun. Get to that uh, at the end of this video. But I want to talk a bit about the programming first. Prepping for the Open. Uh, CrossFit Open's coming up real quick, less than 30 days. So, you know, kind of get your head wrapped around that. Make sure you've got a plan, where to do it, um, who you're doing it with at the gym. Have some fun. Uh, I know I'm going to be doing it. And it's always just a special time of year. It's kind of cool time to, to test your fitness and just really kind of get passionate about CrossFit. So, um, biggest thing with the Open is, you know, intensity, right? Like that that, you know, six to 12 minutes of like high intensity, really high heart rate, just moving nonstop. So we're going to try and be putting those pieces in, trying to get you familiar with that, but still working on the things that you need to do to get better. So, you know, the strength, the steady state conditioning, the gymnastics strength. Um, so with the open, obviously in the next few weeks, really the only thing that you can reliably count on to get better is going to be, uh, you know, you can kind of dip into that intensity and kind of ramp up um, so you're really familiar and as comfortable as you can be with going to that level of intensity. And the other thing are the skills, right? So even if they're not programmed in here, you know, remember to work on your, you know, your muscle ups if you don't have them. Work on your burpee technique, work on your snatch technique. Because if you unlock something there, kind of have an aha moment, and maybe you can go from 20 unbroken double unders to 40, that's going to see a big improvement in your scores. Um, you know, you're probably not going to put a bunch of weight on your one or max clean by then, right? Um, you're not going to massively change um, how easy thrusters are. Thrusters are always hard and they're going to continue to be hard. And that's probably not going to change too much in a couple of weeks. You can get a little more familiar with that uh, level of intensity that comes with movements like thrusters and burpees, rowing and chest bars. However, you know, you're not going to see a huge improvement in those things. However, technic technique, you can. So if there's a movement or two that you always struggle with or you want to get your first one, now is the time to start working on, let's say, those ring muscle-ups. Um, not many days left. One thing I wanted to talk about regarding technique, something I noticed, the competition I feel would be good to share with you all, is not surprisingly, the athletes, when we were warming up for the one-arm max, warming up for the clean and jerk for the individual competition and then for the team competition, I did the three or max over at squat. Patrick Fellner did the two or max front squat, and Jeff Adler did the one or max split jerk. And just kind of walking around, warming up, watching other athletes warm up. It was very apparent that the athletes with the best technique were the athletes that were the most thorough in their warm up. Right? They were the ones, you know, warming up with the bar, opening up their shoulders you know, doing more reps with an empty bar, really crisp, smooth reps. That The athletes that do not have the good technique in the Olympic lifts are the ones that just kind of crack their knuckles, walk over, put some plates on the bar, and just rip it for two reps. Oh, okay, yep, feeling good. And if they're doing that in competition, you know that's what they're doing in training every day. Therefore, their technique is not improving. Uh, and I guess I always just assume that people, you know, are, are focusing on their technique, that they're working on their technique because we all know it's so important. It's something we kind of give lip service to. We say, oh, technique is so important. But how are you applying that knowledge and applying that belief in your training on a daily basis? Are you ensuring that when you train tomorrow, whatever you're doing, you are doing technically as well or better than you've ever done it? Um, are you finding a way to improve your technique on every movement this week that you do? And you could just tell uh, in the warm up, it's like, oh, it's no wonder that person moves really well. Like you can just tell that they are focused on it every single time they touch a bar, every single time they hang from the pull up bar. And then there's other athletes that just kind of roll in and start moving the bar, start doing burpees, whatever it is. And you're like, yeah, like those athletes are the ones that are kind of known for not having good techniques. So how you do anything is how you do everything. Um, and even at the, the best level, the best athletes in the world, you're still seeing I guess what I might call like sloppy warm ups, sloppy movement patterns. And uh, yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, a little bit of a recap of the competition on my end. I was overall really happy. I um, still have to kind of, you know, I've been home now a couple of days, just like, you know, two days here, and um, really just been focusing on trying to get some sleep, catching up with the wife and the kid, and uh, doing just a little bit of steady training. 
unpacking some life stuff, just like, you know, life stuff, uh, you know, pain bills, that sort of thing that, it, that I've been putting off. Um, but been starting to make some notes as a whole, really happy with happy with how the individual competition went. You know, I definitely feel as though my fitness at the CrossFit games this year was not where it could have been, not where it needs to be, to be a contender for one of those top spots. Like I have been in prior years. Um, you know, like I was in 16, 17, 18, 21. And so this year, you know, felt like I'd kind of taken a step back, um, from that. And I feel as though since then with how I've done in Dubai and, uh, how I did at Wadapalooza, I'm starting to change that. You know, I don't think I was good enough this weekend to really challenge like Ricky Garrard and Roman Krennikov for, you know, top two spots. And I was still a little bit behind Vellner as well. Uh, you know, he beat me fair and square. So, uh, but still happy feeling like the things we've been working on, um, with the steady state cardio is starting to kind of get me back to that high level of like aerobic fitness that I once had. And, you know, the strength is still sticking in there, happy with where the strength numbers are at, maybe even could have went a little heavier in my three or max overhead squat and my one or max clean and jerk in the individual, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, and then still, you know, still able to, to do well in the power output events, the short, uh, um, you know, the power snatch burpee one did pretty well and the toast bar the jump workout. Um, those were kind of two of the shorter ones. Those are two of my best finishes. So everything's, everything's coming together. Still going to be doing a lot of zone two work in the coming, you know, eight months leading up to the games, uh, more steady state stuff as that used to be a, uh, you know, a strength of mine, something I could really rely on in those chippers and in the long workouts at the games, the trail runs, the run swim runs, and that's kind of went off and it's dropped off in the last like three years. Um, and so looking forward to gaining that back and feel like I'm on the right track, uh, for that, you know, having only done it for, you know, four or five months now, I've got about seven or eight ahead of me, which is exciting. Um, individual competition, I'm trying to think of anything else that's really poignant that's, uh, worth talking about. I think, you know, I think the handstand hold was interesting. We had to do a one or max clean and jerk, rest a minute or two. And then we had this one, one attempt at a handstand hold on parallettes. And I did okay. 41 seconds. You know, I was able to do longer than that in training, but, uh, you know, I think it's just important that I continue and we all continue to, to work on the basic gymnastic skills, whether that be handstand holds, handstand walks, um, pirouettes on the handstand, like all those kind of things. I say basic, but in some ways they're more advanced because it seems as though competitions are putting that in more and more. And I think we are going to see that at semis in the CrossFit Games with Adrian Bosman. He's uh, his background in uh, circus. So, you know, kind of a, a reminder there that, uh, you know, you can't just do burpees and assault bikes and thrusters and expect that to, to get you to the top. There's the, there's the finesse aspect as well, the body control, the body weight control. Um, you know, the difference between team and individual was really fun and really interesting. I think I'm able to, um, I think like in the lead up to the workouts, it kind of, they felt like they flip-flopped. So I feel like warming up for the individual events, I'm pretty calm. And then during the event, it feels kind of stressful. Um, you know, it's all happening very fast and there's, you know, it's kind of like the Terminator mask and there's just all these like options coming in. Um, and you know, it kind of goes by in a blur when you're competing and you're trying to just sort through it all. Whereas I found this weekend, I was able to, for the most part, enjoy being out on the floor as a team member, just going hard and kind of getting in sync, getting in rhythm. It felt more like being, a being in a band and, uh, playing music and sort of, uh, almost like improvising as a team going more off instinct at times, which was really fun. Um, whereas in the warm up area, it was kind of stressful because we're, we're making these plans and, you know, so okay, how are we going to break this up? How are we going to communicate in these transitions if we need to change things? Um, and even though we only got to practice once together for an hour and a half, uh, you know, three days before the competition, um, I felt like we really came together well as a team and we made, you know, just really smart strategies. And I think it was a testament to, you know, our maturity that we didn't overextend ourselves in any workout. And we were just sort of consistently coming between second and fifth, uh, basically in every event. So we never won an event because I don't think we took the risk needed in any event to, to win an event. Whereas I think there were some other teams that maybe came up with some aggressive strategies like, all right, we're going to each do 15 unbroken ring muscle ups and then run forward and go unbroken. And, you know, you do that for eight workouts, you know, you might win two workouts, but you're going to do really poorly in, you know, six of them. <laughs> and so we just sort of chose, you know, smart, like challenging strategies that had opportunities to kind of um, adjust within those. And it worked out well where we were just consistently getting top finishes. Um, yeah, we really enjoyed it. And uh, just little moments like it was, 
you know, I kind of remember doing wall balls with Pat right near the end of the, the one of the last workouts. Um, we were going synchronized wall balls, and there was just kind of this moment of like um, just enjoyment. Uh, you know, obviously we're both in a lot of pain, but it was just kind of a cool feeling thinking like, man, you know, Pat and I have been doing this now together and against each other for, you know, eight years since 2016, uh, you know, are both of our first CrossFit games. And so to just go synchro with him on some wall balls at the end of a workout to try to win the competition, uh, you know, little things like that were really cool. And, you know, to get to know Jeff and, uh, and, and his fiance, Caro, a little better as well was, um, was super fun. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like, the only thing you can really hope for from competition is, you know, good memories and, um, you know, experiences that are worth it and all the training feels like it's, it's worth it for these kind of big moments. Um, no different than, uh, you know, working hard in school for a final test and getting the grade you want and, uh, or, you know, practicing for months for a performance or a play as a, as a performer. It's kind of the same thing. It's this, uh, all that lead up and then uh, it was just a lot of fun to get to put our fitness on display and, um, kind of felt like people were rallying for us and the costumes were fun and I don't know it was uh, very different and I, I would recommend if you're um, if you're ever torn between individual and team you know just uh, go back to what are your goals but don't be afraid to do a team comp every now and again it can be a lot of fun and it can also put you out of your comfort zone because usually what happens I was kind of saying to people um, you know one of the teammates becomes the limiter and that person gets dragged into a very deep place of pain because the other ones are dragging them along, like, come on, you gotta finish these burpees. And they're dying and they're probably gonna push themselves harder than if they're doing it on their own. Uh, and so for me, you know, there were some workouts that, uh, you know, one workout in particular that, that was very easy for me was the rope climb one, just the way it played out and where I got to rest and I was using the kettlebell. It felt like a, like an easy imam, um, and Pat's shoulders were just fried and Jeff's grip was exploding and I was fine. Um, whereas, in the swim run workout, I was dying in the, uh, you know, the, uh, the final workout in the burpees, I was fading probably more than the other guys. So it just kind of every workout, one of us was the limiter. And, uh, and it's an interesting opportunity as an athlete to, to see how hard you can push and see if you can transfer that mental toughness into, uh, into your own performance when you're just trying to drag yourself to the finish line. Anyway, that's enough talking for now. Enjoy this week of training. Uh, exciting, exciting, uh, times, I am excited. Holy boy. Holy smokes. Um, I'm tired too. Um, I'll dig a little bit more into the program next week and talk about the nuts and bolts and kind of where things are headed because I'm really excited about it. So, all right. Talk all later. Bye.